Glasses or contacts are just not an option for Lucky, but the seven-year-old Belgian Malinois still needs a near-perfect set of peepers to do his job. He can do everything from um, searching for narcotics to tracking, uh, suspect apprehension, handler protection, uh, evidence searches. Canine officer Matt Evans of the Knox County Sheriff's Department is Lucky's handler. Police dogs obviously need a talented nose, but their vision is also very important. Officer Evans brought Lucky to UT's College of Veterinary Medicine for this checkup, an event put together by the American College of Veterinary Ophthalmologists. In the times now with budget cuts across the state and that many departments are facing, to have a resource like this where officers can come out, canine units have their dogs examined for free, uh, it's just amazing and uh, we're very grateful for UT for having the opportunity to bring them out. Dogs are not colorblind. They don't quite take in all the colors that we do, but they don't just see black and white either. Also, dogs have much better vision at night than humans. Statistically, most crime occurs at night and that's when a law enforcement canine can really help a police department. They need to have good vision to make sure that they're not only watching out for themselves but also the officer that they're protecting. Dr. Diane Hendricks is an ophthalmologist with the UT Vet College. Here she uses a retina scan headset to look for problems. Dr. Hendricks examined more than a dozen dogs in the clinic and not just law enforcement canines. Also, she saw animals that serve as seeing eye dogs or seizure alert dogs to help autistic children. We all feel indebted to these dogs who are helping quality of life of so many people improve. And so we're mostly looking for cataracts, looking for certain kinds of retinal degeneration that can make dogs slowly go blind. As for Lucky, he's just a few years away from a well-earned retirement. But meantime, his checkup went well, confirming that his vision is still healthy, just what he needs to focus on a good quality of life and to protect our society. This is Chuck Denny reporting.